Oh, for Pete's sake. I'll get it here. Let me help you there. Boy, these cheap bags, they just tear if you breathe on them. <laughs> oh, hey, rhubarb. Boy, oh boy, that sure does take me back. Huh? Oh, my mother used to make the greatest rhubarb pie when I was a kid. Of course, that's about 400 years ago. Uh, you make pie out of this? Oh, do I? Boy, the folks that I work for think I invented rhubarb pie. It's my specialty. Oh, I'll bet it's sensational. Say, you got quite a load there. You got far to walk? Oh, no, not far. I live with the Baxters on Marshall Road. <laughs> well, thanks for helping me out with the groceries. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, and uh, good luck with the pie. <laughs> Such a nice little man. Yes, officer? Still hanging around town, huh? Yeah, but I ain't doing anything. I, I'm just walking along the sidewalk. Well, watch yourself. I don't want to have to pick you up again. Yeah, I, I don't mean to impose on our friendship or anything. Friendship? Yeah, but uh, I just couldn't seem to get that rhubarb pie off my mind. It's got me drooling. I ain't even started it yet. I could tell just by looking at you that you was born with a natural talent for cooking. Your pie's got to be the greatest. Oh, boy. The blarney just oozes out your ears, don't it? <laughs> oh, that's no blarney. I mean it, Mrs. Uh... Miss Burke. Hazel Burke. Come on in. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm not begging. You must have some odd jobs that need doing around here. I'll trade your work for pie. Fair enough? Yeah, I guess so. Well, go on, sit down. Uh, the robot pie won't be ready till dinner, but I got a little piece of Dutch apple left from last night. The fork's right in there. Oh, well, so. Now, you tell me anything you want done around here. Just anything. Oh, anything that needs doing around this house, I've already done. But I got some folks next door that might need somebody. Uh, do you know anything about gardening? Oh, sure. I've been doing a lot of gardening around lately. Let me see. There was Hampton, Ohio. Yeah, and oh, Peoria, Illinois. I met a real nice family there, and I trimmed some hedges in Hatfield, New Jersey. Say, you get around, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's the only way to live, I think. You know, this sure is good pie. Oh, well, the rhubarb's going to be even better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let's see. Burke is B-U-R-K-E, right? Yeah, that's right. What are you doing? Oh, uh, I meet a new friend. I put them in the book. Look here, I got a lot of friends that start with a B. There's Benedetti and Barker and Butterfield. Well, there's just one that's just got a first name, Beulah. Uh-huh. Well, she didn't have a last name. You see, Beulah's a Jersey cow lives in Duck Run, Iowa. <laughs> she loves a friend, though. A cow? Are you kidding? No, I slept in a barn one night. I woke up hungry. And Beulah gave me a bucket of milk for breakfast. Well, that was a nice, friendly gesture. <laughs> well, she didn't actually give it to me. I had to take it away from her, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was real good. Say, where do these people live, the, um... The Johnsons? Oh, they uh, live right next door. Oh. You know, right on this side. Mm -hmm. Hazel, have you seen the... Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had company. Oh, that's all right, Mr. B. He was just going. Yeah. 